What's up, NZers? Hi! And welcome back to another family reaction video. This time we're going to be carrying on with our, what seems to be a very popular series, mm -hmm. where we check out some military vehicles. So interesting. For us as well, just because it's so foreign. Yeah. Such a small little nation down here with, you know, just a bunch of armed sheep <laughs> <laughs> to protect us. Yeah, practically. <laughs> Basically, in the last video when we checked out the F-22 Raptor, and actually the first video where we checked out the, uh, the 18 Warthog, basically all of you were like, you need to check out the B-2 Bomber. Yeah. It's, it's like, number, it should be number one on your list. Yeah. So anyway, we're here, to, we're here to check out why no nation wants to fight the B-2 Bomber. And this is actually from the same channel as the last two ones we've checked out. It's US okay. Military News. Cool. So go and check them out. Pretty awesome channel. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Imagine hearing that. Why no nation yeah. wants to fight the B-2 bomber. Oh. It's such an odd shape. It is. Oh, <laughs> Should you venture out one of the air shows one. periodically held near Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri? You may be so fortunate to spot one of the world's most otherworldly aircraft, the Manta-like B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. The Spirit's swept wings measure 52 meters across, half the length of a football field, and its cockpit bulges organically from the surface like that of a 1950s era sci-fi spaceship, contrasting dramatically with the jagged near 45 degree angles of its trailing edges. Okay, that's big. Why does the B-2 look so weird? And how does that help it evade radar? The Spirit was designed late in the Cold War to slip through the Soviet Union's formidable integrated air defense network, combining ground-based radars, surface-to-air missiles, and aerial interceptors and radar planes. Whoa. Radars were a linchpin of any modern air defense system, so the Pentagon sought a stealth plane with such a minimal radar cross-section that it could only be detected at very short ranges. Whoa, what is that? Wow. The Air Force's first stealth aircraft, the F-117 Nighthawk, was a promising start, what? but it could only carry two bombs over 900 miles unrefueled. Looks like a transformer. Not far enough yeah. to deliver a strategic strike deep inside enemy territory. Whoa. In the 1930s and 1940s, aviation that. engineers had experimented with flying wing designs like Nazi Germany's Horton Ho 229 and the U.S. XB-35 and YB-49. It's just a giant one. Flying wings yeah. generate additional lift and coincidentally are conducive to low radar cross sections because their flat surfaces minimize opportunities for radar waves to bounce off them. Mm. However, pure flying wings lack tail control surfaces, often leading to fatal aerodynamic instability. The B-2's design came at a turning point when fly-by-wire controls were entering widespread use. These mediate a pilot's commands through an electronic interface rather than directly via hydraulics, allowing a computer to compensate for unstable flight characteristics. The Spirit's quadruple redundant system, for example, manipulates flaps on the wings and engine thrust differentially to perform turns that most aircraft would rely on tail rudders and elevators to perform. Jet engines are a common weak point in stealth designs as they feature radar conspicuous fan blades and generate hot engine exhaust that lights up infrared sensors. To avoid this vulnerability, the Spirit's intakes are mounted on the top of the wings and funneled air through S-shaped ducts to four F-118 turbofans buried deep inside the plane. Whoa. This configuration dampens both the B-2's acoustic and infrared signature the Spirit furthermore employs secondary inlets that scoop up cold barrier air surrounding the bomber and mix it with the hot exhaust, which is then expelled over a flattened titanium carbon fiber surface to further diffuse the heat signature. It looks like a Another UFO. key aspect yeah. of the B-2's low observability are radar yeah, absorbent materials. Alien. The B-2's skin is already primarily made up mostly of non-conductive carbon graphite composite mixed with titanium. The most reflective areas, such as the intakes, flaps, and leading edges of the wings, are sprayed with additional radar absorbent material coatings, which have been repeatedly tweaked over the years. Furthermore, the skin is coated with an elastomer, an elastic rubber-like polymer, 
meant to smooth away seams, screws, or joints between different materials, which might create a chink in its stealthy geometry. Altogether, these features reduce a B-2's yes, radar cross-section to roughly 0.1 to 0.05 meters squared. Though most discreet from the front, the B-2 is designed to remain low observable from all angles as it's intended to penetrate deep into enemy airspace. Spirits are camouflaged for daytime as well as night strikes with non-reflective dark gray paint designed to blend in with the sky at distances of 23 miles or greater. The B-2 also sports special bays designed to release chemicals to obscure contrails, but those were never used operationally. Instead, the Spirit has a LIDAR sensor to detect contrails, giving the pilot a chance to change altitude to eliminate them. The Spirit is designed to fly across the globe while carrying 20 to 30 tons of weapons, but not to do Whoa. exceptionally quickly. Wow. Its turbofans lack afterburners, which in any case would cause infrared and even radar signature to bloom. Yeah. The Spirit's top speed is 630 miles per hour, which means it's a bit faster than a jumbo jet, while its range of five to 7,000 miles is usually multiplied by two to four aerial refuelings using a pop-up hatch behind the cockpit. This has allowed B-2s to fly non-stop missions lasting nearly two days wow. from Whiteman in Missouri to hit targets across the globe. Be scary a Spirit's cross-trained crew of two, a mission commander and a pilot, enter the plane via a hatch in the belly. The bomber has room for one crew member to nap in shifts, as well as a toilet and space to store food in a microwave. Though Spirits routinely use GPS navigation, they can get along just fine if navigation satellites are knocked out by using a star-oriented inertial navigation system backed up by a terrain recognition-based system. Satellite links and very high-frequency radio allow the crew to receive mission updates, such as the cancellation of a planned target. When a B-2 bomber approaches defended airspace, it enters stealth mode, retracting antennas, cutting off certain communication links, and even restricting the use of its flaps. If threatened by long-range radars and missiles over a wide area, it may descend to low altitude to reduce detection range. Its terrain following system, allowing the huge bomber to skim as low as 200 feet above the ground. Whoa. Unlike the earlier Nighthawk, the B-2 bomber is like equipped with an APQ-181 yeah, yeah. low probability of intercept radar that has been updated to an even stealthier active electronically scanned array model in 2010. Useful for navigation and scanning ground targets, it can also plot the position of hostile fighters and radars. That data is fed to the bomber's APR-63 defensive measure suite, allowing the mission commander to adjust the pre-programmed flight path to slip in between areas of dense radar coverage and avoid interceptors. Arguably, the latter pose the greatest threat to the B-2. Already low bandwidth radars may detect the presence, but not the precise location of stealth aircraft, should a hostile fighter close within a few dozen miles, the Spirit would be vulnerable to visual, infrared, and even radar detection. Lacking self-defense weapons or high speed, the B-2's odds of survival in that scenario would be pretty low. Ooh. For its nuclear strike mission, still its most important role today, the B-2 can carry up to 16 B-61 or megaton yielded B-83 nuclear gravity bombs Whoa. on the rotary launchers inside its two bomb bays, Oh a Spirit's avionics are hardened versus the electromagnetic pulses generated Whoa. by nuclear blasts. And the pilots are offered exploded. creepy white face masks to shield their eyes oh, from the flash of detonation. However, the fall of the Soviet <laughs> Union prompted the Air Force to hastily like adapt the V-2 for conventional weapons delivery. An alternate rack system can accommodate up to 80 Mark 82 500-pound ah. bombs or an equivalent weight in cluster bombs, mines, or larger munitions. In the late 1990s, the B-2 was adapted to carry 2,000-pound JDAM GPS-guided weapons, which are accurate within a 20-foot radius oh, wow. and have served as its primary weapon ever since. Be scared. The B-2 ah. is also certified to carry long-range AGM-154 JSAO glide bombs, 80 miles, Baby. and AGM-158 JASM stealth cruise missiles, 230 to 575 miles, to allow it to deliver standoff attacks without risking getting too close to increasingly powerful modern air defense radars. Most exotically, the B-2 is uniquely configured to deploy up to two massive 30,000-pound GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrators Whoa. designed to okay, blast apart like command bunkers like up to 61 meters right. underground, a capability meant to threaten decapitation of hostile foreign leaders 
and destruction of subterranean weapons facilities. Whoa. The B-2's ability to deliver such devastating weapons deep within the most well-defended airspace make it a premium, highly specialized war machine without equivalent. At least unless China develops a decent H-20 stealth bomber. So far, B-2s have mostly leveraged their range and payload rather than stealth for actual combat operations. However, the Spirit's awesome firepower and low observable characteristics will never be tested in the kinds of high-intensity and likely nuclear-grade power conflict it was designed to fight. It's actually big. It's a lot bigger when you see people next to it. Yeah. Eh? almost like as big as a like a regular plane like yeah. that you take yeah. overseas passenger jeff yeah. wow that was insane Whoa. i noticed that the side profile it almost looked like it was like a bird in flight yeah like a bird's beak with its yeah. body and it was like quite sleek so its main form of defense is actually it being stealth yeah so if, if something snuck up on it yeah yeah, not many, not much chance of survival. No. It's just like hope to be unseen. Yeah, I drop the bonds and get out. And leave. Yeah. 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 Wow, that was insane. Power <laughs> out. See, the thing is, is I never knew any planes like that, looking like that, ever existed. Yeah. So imagine just seeing one, you'd be like, okay. I know. You're all gonna die. I yeah. know. <laughs> I'm like, the aliens are here. Yeah. Oh, I know. I, that, I the whole time I was watching it, I was just getting like UFO vibes. Hard out. It looks so alien. It was like, it's weird because from the side profile, you can see nothing but curves. Yeah. And then from the top or like, you know, any other profile, it's nothing but like jagged edges. Yeah. And like sharp angles. Yeah. That's a really odd, like. It is. It's just so, it's such a foreign thing to us. An yeah. identified it's flying object. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. the one. It's That's like, the one, mate. It's like, imagine like a nice sunny day and you just hear that whistling sound coming from the sky. Imagine that. <laughs> and then like within seconds, like. Too late. Yeah. Yeah. And also there's countries that have like bunkers and stuff like that. Where yeah. You have to have like to run to and yeah. stuff like, that's crazy. We, yeah. we don't have anything like that. No, run to don't. the bunker within like three seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, that's the next one in the series. I don't know what we've got next. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's like millions of other vehicles. I know. There, Maybe you guys can suggest another yeah, one to look at. What's yeah. the next one on the list? Maybe it's we can look at another country. Another country. Wait, the one that we saw yeah. in um, the video. Um, oh, yeah. Was it wasn't the Nighthawk? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. Had, yeah, we should check out the Nighthawk. Yeah. Yeah, and also, if you if you guys like that one, make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below, like what we just said. Maybe another vehicle we can check out. Yeah. And also, subscribe. Wait, but before you subscribe, go and check us out on Instagram. Yes. Yeah. But then, actually, subscribe before you go and check us out on Instagram. <laughs> That's, subscribe that's on better. your way you might Instagram. forget yeah you might forget <laughs> yeah. so subscribe and then go over to Instagram and check us out yeah and we love you guys and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.